Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Project Thrift 52 video. My name is Jessica if you're new here and I started this project back in the beginning of the year. This year is almost over and I'm actually on week 50 of the project. And this week I'm going to take you into the Goodwill, which happens to be in Orlando, Florida. Me and my family went to Universal Studios. We had an awesome time. And of course I had to check out a thrift store while I was in Orlando. I'm obviously back home now. And the second part of this video is going to be a Goodwill that I previously took you in. And I'll show you everything that I purchased from both Goodwills at the end of the video. If you happen to be in Orlando visiting Universal Studios and you want to go thrifting, this particular Goodwill is only about five miles away. And let me know down in the comments what your favorite item was on today's thrifting trip. I would love to hear your answers. So I'm just going to take you around and check out some of the home decor.
So now I'm going to show you what I purchased in the Orlando Goodwill. The first thing that I purchased was the adorable ceramic little hippo toothbrush holder. This was 99 cents and I'm going to give this as a gift. I'm going to fill the bottom with some styrofoam blocks and I'm going to put a dried floral arrangement inside of it to make it more of a vase. I know somebody that would absolutely love this so that's what I plan to do with it. The next item that I purchased was for my ladder shelf display. As you guys know I change this out all the time and I'm adding and taking away from it. So when I saw the little green bookend even though there was only one I decided to purchase it. It was $1.99 and I thought it would look great on my display here. I thought it would add a nice little pop of green down on the bottom and it keeps everything from falling over and it definitely seemed vintage. It was a genuine alabaster and it was made in Italy. So now that I'm back home I thought I would pop into one of my local Goodwills and see what they have. I know this is Halloween decor, but this is probably one of the most creepiest things I've seen in a while. I thought this lamp was really interesting. It was kind of made out of like a paper mache type material. I probably would have purchased this, but I didn't have any small light bulbs to test it out to see if it actually worked. And if you're wondering what the price was, it was $4.99. So you guys know I love my pigs and I came across this pig humidifier which I've never seen one of these before. I thought it was pretty cool. Looks like it's never been used and it was only $3.99. I also love snails and I really liked this little planter but I thought it was kind of expensive especially since I really didn't like the floral arrangement in the top. I probably would have pulled this out and put something else in it so I decided to leave it behind. So now I'm going to show you what I bought on this particular trip. So every year I like to pick up thrifted ornaments to add to my Christmas tree. And since I left the glass strands behind, I decided to get these little snowflakes here. I found four of them and they were 29 cents each. I really don't like the red candy cane on the top, so I'm going to take those off and just put some plain silver ones that I already have on them. And then I also got this little Michaels ornament craft kit. It has three star ornaments inside of those, so I'm going to put those together and show you what they look like on my tree. Altogether, I spent $1.78 and I got seven ornaments, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. And I think they look so pretty on my tree. I kind of have a metallic, glamorous, neutral theme on my Christmas tree, so they blend in very nicely. So that is all that I found on these two thrifting trips. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you back for week 51. And here's a little bit of footage from Universal Studios. This is Hogwarts. They had a really nice light show display.
Once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.